there are three questions in the world that I wish people would just stop asking me already. Where are you from? <laughs> Where is your name from? Where is your accent from? <laughs> the first two have relatively straightforward answers. The thing is, it would take at least two more shows to really explain them. <laughs> my accent, though, I never really know what to say to that. Where's my accent from? I don't know. My mouth? <laughs> my throat? The interplay between my lungs and my vocal cords and my brain? It's not like my voice has a GPS tracker attached to it. Come on. So, can you imagine me as a GPS voice? It's only fair, I should be able to monetize my accent somehow. <laughs> I am ambiguously foreign enough that I can be placed in any car in the world. <laughs> Though that might end up being a bit too much of a distraction. <laughs> Turn left in one hundred meters. <laughs> hmm? What was that? <laughs> In 50 meters, turn left. I can make out a damn thing you're saying. <laughs> turn left now. Don't tell me where to go, you fucking foreign robot. <laughs> ah, fuck! Recalculating. <laughs> Recalculating. <laughs> People seem to think my voice is an open invite to play a round of guess the accent. <laughs> Some days they don't even ask me for my name. Some people tell me they want to detect my accent. What, like I'm a beach and you have a metal detector for an object detected? I get this from drunk guys at bars and little old ladies at get-togethers. I get it from people who run international organizations and should really know better. <laughs> I get it from colleagues, from classmates, from people on transit, from meetups, from conferences, from people who look like me, people who are nothing like me. I get it from everyone. And when they get the answer wrong, which is pretty much all the time, they correct me. <laughs> First is, oh, but aren't you Sri Lankan? Why is it always Sri Lanka? Do brown people not speak English anywhere else in the world? <laughs> oh, then it's, oh, but you don't sound Malaysian. Yes, because you would know so well how a Malaysian <laughs> sounds like. <laughs> the only reason you even know that country exists is because of all those planes last year. <laughs> and now you want to be the authority on the country I spent my first 20 years of life in? Kepala hoppa engkau! But oh, if I give a totally bullshit answer, oh, they buy it. I could say I'm from, let's see, Zanzibar or Kenya, and then it's Ah, yes, I hear the African in you. <laughs> uh, my dad went to Johannesburg once. <laughs> oh, I'll say that I lived in Australia for six years, and then it's, ah, I knew it, shrimp on the barbie, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey, why you reckon, mate? I got bugger all was in my voice. <laughs> Besides, they don't actually say shrimp on the barbie, they're bloody prawns. What really gets me, though, are the people who claim to not have an accent. How is that even possible? Everyone has an accent. If you speak, you have an accent. Even sign language has accents. The only way to not have an accent is to not communicate at all. And it doesn't help that the people who are loudest about not having an accent have the thickest accents ever. So thick, even I can't make out what they're saying. But no, I am not allowed to complain about people's accents. Because according to them, I'm the one with the accent. 
I am the outsider because people like me, the people who are bugging me about my name, my accent, where I'm from, they're not actually interested in me. What they're interested in is finding out why this alien has showed up out of nowhere to break their sense of normal. Because people like me with the unplaceable accents, we're not human beings with our own personality, stories, livelihoods, interests. We're pieces of a puzzle that don't quite fit. We are guess who and 20 questions and magic eight balls that get thrown away and broken if we don't give you the answer that you want. We are as esoteric as tarot cards and our lives as gambled away as poker chips. Because who cares about you if you're not a person, right? If you're just an idea, a concept, a question unanswerable, they don't even ask me, who are you anyway? They ask me, what are you? What? No, who I am is a human being. Though maybe you're right that I am an alien because I've always felt a greater affinity to the stars than to the ground. I am a descendant of the first group of people who left Africa to explore Pangaea and of Cthulhu, the warrior woman of 10,000 horses. I am Slytherin and I am Ravenclaw and I am a self of heart. I spent part of my life in flight between borders and another part of my life online without borders. I sing and I fight and I dream in multiple languages and sometimes in silence. Ami Bangla ektu buji cukup fase dalam bahasa Melayu. And I scored higher than most native English speakers in immigration language tests. I say, man, Manglish and Singlish also can la. But I can has low speak? No, I can't even. Function, code, switch, console, log, hello, world. When people ask me where my accent's from, where my name's from, where I'm from, I tell them everywhere because that is the only answer that's true.